Hey, so I'm doing a video and it's a challenge of a 21 day and so you're gonna see my face a lot. So who am I? That's the question. Well, I'm Wendy and I'm a creative person. I was born in July. You can calculate that to whatever you want. Uh, I'm now a mama and my baby has changed my world, as they always do, but you know, you never know until you experience it. So, um, I'm sitting here tonight and I'm thinking, who am I really? Hmm, what's my story? Well, I think my story starts with books. And an amazing mother who, well, my first things, <laughs> okay, my first, <laughs> my first sentence was, see the boy. <laughs> Yeah, it started there. Um, and see the lights. I was always into the lights and look at that, look at that, and look at this. And my mom helped me to see the world in a really cool way. She still does. And my dad helped me see the world in a different way because he, we moved around a lot. And that made me a really adaptable person. I've been thinking, um, I'm a really introverted extrovert. Really, Myers-Briggs said I'm about 50-50, so, <laughs> so there. So, um, I like being in crowds of people. I like the energy. I love people. I love culture. I love languages. And when I was a kid, I read National Geographic. And I would go over those pictures, and I would travel the world through those pictures, and I would meet people through those pictures, and the, and the stories, and, man, Mount St. Helens, and Egypt, and, like, I don't even remember right now, but just so many amazing places I went through those books, or magazines, and then I got to go. And I got to go to Korea and I had studied interior design and got my degree in that and that was so cool that's what enabled me to go and also to see it in a whole different way because of the people the languages I didn't speak a, a word of, of Korean none when I went there and I love that because I am I'm, I'm very um, empathic and intuitive and I can just sit there and listen to people I just like to sit there and listen and I just soak up my world soak it up soak it up and then how it translates now is into um, well not now but well it is now um, that's how I get into my paintings I, s I like to go around by myself I would walk around for and do things a lot of things by myself because I'm not distracted and I can be in my world and then paint it out and now I'm learning I, I'm learning always in different ways as being an artist I'm always doing it in different ways so painting photography yeah you know I've even gone and done real estate and I've done you know interesting things. Um, I'm a renaissance woman that way, that's for sure. Um, and I love it. And the people I usually choose to be with are from somewhere else, and I love it. I'm, I met someone one time and he said, I'm so glad I met you because you helped me to, to feel again. And I was like, what does that mean? And I didn't really know that till recently. And I was like, I'm very thankful for that person who said that. I'm like, yeah, that's right. So, here we are. So this all comes up to my tagline that a coach of mine helped me develop. And it's creating visual happiness. So let me know if, uh, if you got that from this video because I want to be developing, well, 
myself, my brand, who I am, packaging that up, sharing it with the world, and just being me, learning how to be me in a whole different way. People say sometimes, oh, like Madonna? Well, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, if I do, I take inspiration from her, from how she reinvents herself. And I like reinventing myself. So let's do it. <laughs>